Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Azure and Curls channel. <laughs> Welcome to Azure and Curls channel. We are trying to yeah. come to y'all today. <laughs> Woo. Woo. <laughs> this is our first time doing a video together since uh, what? like December or so. December when we posted the relaxing hair video. That is the last time that we have posted a video together because we are in two separate places right now. So. It is what it is. It's a long distance relationship going. <laughs> yes, we have a long distance partnership going on here. And so we was just like, you know what? Let's just do something a little different so that y'all can see our interaction with the both of us because this is our channel and we are trying to bring you some information of natural hair. So it is us. Miss B. We have Felicity here. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So um, please excuse the... Um, you know, if you see any time that we're frozen or whatever, we are uh, doing a um, a recording with Zoom, so you don't ever know what's gonna happen. Yeah. But you know, it is what it is. We're gonna keep going and bring to you this video as as much as we can. So, all right. So, what is our video about today, Miss Felicity? So today we're going to be sharing with you our hair journey throughout the years, like when we first started natural hair up until this point, and just looking at looking at old pictures, remembering the the somewhat good old days. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of us like showing you our hair journey, because of course you all know that's been done already on YouTube countless times. Uh, we decided we're going to do a reaction video on our natural hair journey. Where were we? How was our hair? What were we doing? What was the picture? And that brings us, of course, into where we are now. So I put the video together so I know what pictures are there. <laughs> Unfortunately, Felicity has only seen maybe four or five pictures, so she has no idea what pictures are going to come up later. Mm -hmm. So if you see her reacting a little crazy, that is because she hasn't seen these photos. <laughs> so, she might be a little embarrassed. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get started with picture number one. All right, so picture number one. All right, so... Felicity doesn't remember this photo. She was in um, kindergarten, I think, Yeah. when this picture was taken. This was taken at my husband's school in Georgia, and it was during field day. And this was during a time where my hair is relaxed. Um, my hair was damaged right here, um, breaking off, was not in any good shape. Felicity's hair was just now starting to grow at this point because it took her hair a long time to like start growing. So I just have it in a little Afro puff. This was like my go-to style for her because um, her hair wasn't really long enough to do ponytails right then, but um, I still wanted to give her some type of a look. So <laughs> this was my go-to style for her was her little Afro puff. It was very simple, very basic. And it kept up until I was ready to do her hair again. So that's this one. <laughs> I mean, I look precious. <laughs> All right. So, yes, that is that one. All right. So we are going on to the next photo. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this is Felicity's favorite. She loves this picture. Um, yeah. she, she likes her hair in this picture. So I'm going to talk about what's going on with my hair and then she can talk about what's going on with hers. Um, again, my hair is relaxed. I relax my hair and I will talk about that later on in the video, but my hair was relaxed here. Um, it was a lot healthier in this video. Um, not video, this picture. Um, I'd actually started finding products that were working for my hair. I started using motions. If y'all remember motions, motions, 
uh, I used the whole line. I used the relaxer. I used the shampoo. I used the conditioner. And I actually started seeing results, positive results with my relaxed hair at this point. So my, my hair at this point was probably at its healthiest state right here. Like there was no breakage. It was thick. It was long. And I really like my hair at this point. Well, my hair was in like, like a, it has a little plait or braid, I should say, and <laughs> the rest of it is now. <laughs> it's a ponytail. It's like a side of ponytail. <laughs> yes. it's, it's a side braided ponytail with the, what do you call those things? Hair, hair balls or something? They're called, yeah, hair balls, your balls. People call them different things. So in, in where I'm from, they're called um, balls. They're called hair balls. Well, I still remember this day because I got to wear my favorite dress. I thought I was doing something. I just, I just <laughs> look precious. Like, I just look like I'm ready. Like, I was ready for these things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The, Felicity likes. And I, didn't get to my, I didn't get to wear my hair down like out often because they were usually like in little ponytails. Because when I go to school, I lose some barrettes and stuff. I wasn't the I wasn't the most careful with my hair, so. <laughs> no, she did not get to wear her hair down often because, as you all know. Um, African American in the African American community, you're not wearing your hair out for no long period of time, especially if you're going to school, walking and running around. You know, your hair is going to look who knows what when you go home or whatever. So, you know, we always have your, our hair in ponytails, braided, plaited up with some barrettes at the end. And so, this was a, a photo that we took, a family photo. This was when my son was just born. So, we I took a family photo at the time. And this is the one time that her hair is down in the back. It was down in the back. I flat ironed it. And then she had a, a side ponytail. I mean, she thought she was cute with her blue dress on or whatever. So that's really why it's her favorite photo. All right. So going to the next photo. All right. So this is another picture of me with my relaxed hair. I had just graduated from college. And again, my hair was the healthiest. I have it colored. If you probably can't really see the color, I had just got it colored, highlighted brown. I used to get my hair highlighted a lot back in those days. And the hairstylist that I had at the time was very good at knowing how to do my hair, blow drying it, and, and making it so that it would lay. That was one thing with my hair, with my hair with being so thick, is that it never laid. It always looked like it was just out here. It never laid like everybody else's. <laughs> So I was glad I was find, I was able to find a hairstylist that was able to flat iron my hair in a way that it would lay. And this is the first time that I was experimenting with bangs. I love my little bangs. Uh, and um, yeah, I love this this hairstyle. This was one of the hairstyles that I really, really did like really much. So, all right, next photo. Yeah. <laughs> Got some uh some ponytails going on. Or braided ponytails going on. Yeah. Gosh. With no front teeth it looks like. Felicia just lost her or her teeth was finally growing back. But I think this was going second grade. This was second grade. She was just started second grade. And this was actually during the time where I put in a um, a hair softener, which I thought, you know, uneducated, not being informed, that I actually thought it was something that was just going to loosen her curls, um, you know, but it actually was a mild relaxer. And I didn't know that because I was not um, educated enough to know how those types of products worked. Uh, so I put it in her hair and I didn't realize that 
it was a relaxer is what it was. So this was during that time where I had actually stopped relaxing it at that point. And this was during that transitional stage. She actually hated to get her hair done at this point because the two textures were coming together. And that's only how the uh, only when I knew that I had accidentally relaxed her hair and didn't realize that. So her hair is still long, but the ends, <laughs> the ends are relaxed. <laughs> the, uh, the root is growing back and she used to be in tears trying to detangle it or whatever, because I didn't know that that is what I had done. So that's what that picture is, is her hair was still long at this point. <laughs> Of course, that's going to change in a minute. <laughs> okay, next picture. Next picture. <laughs> next picture. All right, so this was me in 2008. This was, this was my first transitional style. This was the time that I was just like, I'm going to go natural. And this was the first thing I did to start my natural hair journey was I put micro twists in my, I didn't put it in there, but I went to somebody else and let them put it in there. So this is my first time getting uh. twists in my hair. Um, and it's braided at the root. And then the bottom is, was uh, wavy. And I absolutely love this style. I kept it in my hair for about two or three months. And it really did a very good job of just keeping me not thinking about transitioning from natural to relax and it gave me that time to actually learn about natural hair what i you know what did it what did it mean what did i have to do what was the process and so this was just like the beginning of of a journey that i have continued on and have never looked back never looked back <laughs> a wrap it's a wrap all right next style next uh photo <laughs> well, as you can see, that is me smiling weird, but we're going to look past that. We're going to look at the hair. That's what matters. <laughs> um, it is short. Um, I'm going to assume that's after it was cut. Yes, that was, uh, this picture was taken, <laughs> this picture was taken not shortly after I had realized that I had relaxed her hair and didn't know that. And so Felicity would talk about the, her, her natural journey experience as far as she didn't really have a choice. Um, I just said to myself, you know what, if I'm going to start this journey, she's going to start it with me because I don't want her hair. I don't want to have to keep relaxing it. And I don't want her to feel like that she has to keep relaxing it. So can you just talk about your experience <laughs> when I told you that I had to cut your hair off? <laughs> well, it was cool though. I mean, it was hard times for me. I didn't want to get my hair cut, but didn't have a choice. But we're gonna move past that. The picture that was showing in her <laughs> in the pink jumpsuit was how long her hair was. And if you remember the one that we showed you with the blue dress, I mean her hair was pretty long before I cut it. And so it was a lot of tears, a lot of explaining on my part to let her know, you know, um, we're going to go through this together. By the time you're at the age of 12, your hair will be back to the way it was. Mind you, at this point, she was only seven. <laughs> so to tell her that she's going to get her hair length back in five years <laughs> was not really something that she wanted to hear, but she didn't really have a choice. I mean, she cried and stuff, but I was just like, you know what, I have to do this. So this was, this was literally right after I cut her hair off. And um, this is, I don't even know why I have her hair like that. I think I was trying to, to have some ponytails for her because I knew she didn't have any more. You're <laughs> terrible. I don't know why her hair is like, I don't know why I did her hair like this. I think because I, I didn't want her walking around with an afro. And so I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to just try to put this hair in some ponytails. I mean, she looks so cute, but I don't know what I was thinking doing her hair like that. Uh, 
I'm sorry, buddy. I don't, I don't either. But. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, buddy. But hey, hey, it came out all right. Okay. <laughs> all right. Going to the next photo going down the line here. Uh -huh. mm. Hey, yeah. Hey. Mm. Um, <laughs> like, yeah. I got to do that right there. Mm. Mm. <laughs> do it. Do it, girl. Like you were doing something. I was. This was my big child, man. June 2009. Still remember like it was yesterday. I told my husband, you know what? Get them scissors. It is time to cut this hair off. I'm tired of trying to deal with these two textures. And I cut my hair off. Well, I didn't cut it off. He cut it off. He cut them, got those scissors out, and he cut my hair off. And this was the finished result. I was, th I thought I was cute. You know? <laughs> I thought I was cute. I can remember putting my head, this headband on my head and putting that shirt on. I mean, I had me a fashion show that night. I had literally had a fashion show. I really love love that my I mean I can see now that I can I can rock a short do. I don't want to go back to that being short that ever again. But I didn't I didn't look too bad. It's not as short as it looks actually because um it's 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 shrunk at this point. So it's actually a little longer than that because I had actually this was actually the time I could do a wash and go. Like my hair would actually curl a little bit. I can't do that anymore, but I sure could do it back then. And I used to do them wash and goes all the time. Ah, uh, makes me no, it don't. Mom is gonna try to lie and say maybe we'll cut my hair. Nah, nah, that's old. That's old. <laughs> I'm not ever cutting my hair off again. <laughs> 